We check in now on the latest cattle market news with our market update brought to you by Cattle Facts. Hello, I'm Marcus Briggs with the Cattle Facts update. Cattle Facts currentness index declined in the month of September. The index is now at the cautionary level marked by a value of negative 5, declining from a neutral value of negative 2.6. The index, which is a measure of how well the cattle feeder is sticking to his marketing plan and moving through his supply, is considered uncurrent below negative 8. Major contributors to the decline in currentness are underwhelming marketings of fed cattle and increasing carcass weights. Cattle Facts estimates September marketings to be down about 1% from 2013. Marketings are down about 10% year to date. Cattle not getting marketed are being fed longer and carried into the next month of shipments. September carryover was estimated to be 39% of intended marketings. The number of cattle on feed for over 120 days has been increasing since July 1st and is now 12% higher than 2013. This is apparent in heifer, steer and heifer carcass weights, which were even year over year in July and are now 10 to 20 pounds heavier on average. A decline in curtness index is usually a negative indicator for fed cattle prices. The market is largely ignoring this today because of how tight supplies still are for fed cattle and because fed cattle demand is strong. Fed demand in September is projected to be 20% higher than last year and 17% higher by November-December. Beef demand is up due to increasing beef quality grades and relatively expensive competing proteins. Robust export volume is also a contributing factor to demand despite the recent strengthening of the U.S. dollar. For the Angus Report and Cattle Facts, I'm Marcus Briggs. To learn more about Cattle Facts, your leading source for beef industry market information, visit cattlefacts.com.